Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, for today's video, I wanted to do a talk through of how I installed some new horns on the car. Uh, these are the factory original horns here. Um, they finally gave up after almost 900,000 miles. Uh, they are mounted to the car with this mounting bracket that's uh, bolted onto the back there with a 10 millimeter uh, nut. And then they just have a single wire, a single power wire that clips in there. Uh, <clears throat> I'll show you the mounting for the new horns in a second here. So I got these uh, Hella Supertone horns from Rock Auto. Uh, they were just over $30 after shipping tax and everything. It turned out to be just over $40 uh, to get to me. Uh, so come in this little box, not many instructions with it. There's a little bit on the flap there. Um, and then there's a graphic here, but I went ahead and wrote out where all the wires go to. So that's what it looks like on the box. <clears throat> all right, so on the relay, there's four posts on there, and you see here number 30 is going to go to the battery. That's going to be your 12 volt power. And I also bought an inline fuse for it. it has a, a mini fuse. I put in a 20 amp fuse for this. And then post number 85 on the relay is going to go to ground. 86 is going to hook into the stock wiring for the horn from Honda that went in here. And then 87 out of the relay is going to be powered to the new horns. Okay, also bought some uh, connectors there. Uh, so the whole thing cost me about $55 to do this job. All right, so it really was pretty straightforward, pretty easy, and uh, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Uh, you don't have to take the whole front of the car apart. You can see here I've got the front bumper dropped. Um, over here on the side, there's going to be a screw over here, you come up from the bottom, there's gonna be a Phillips uh, screw there. You unscrew that on both sides, and then you can just uh, pull that out, that'll unsnap, and then the front of it will uh, unsnap below the headlights here as well, and then you can just kinda sit it down there like you see there. Um, also remove the uh, upper cover here for the uh, radiator core support. And that was just some easy clips to pop out. Uh, so I was able to pull this just loose, pull it out of the way a little bit. And then the Hella horns have that same mounting bar on the back of it. And I was able to put it in there uh, right where the original is bolted up. So uh, there's two posts on the back of the horn. You've got one for positive, one for negative. Uh, <clears throat> so positive goes up there to the relay like I told you a while ago. And then the ground, I was able to just run this uh, behind the bar and ground it to the, where it bolts onto the body there. Uh, so I uh, was really pleased with the way this turns out, uh, how they were able to fit in the exact same spots there. Uh, just have some uh, 12 millimeter head bolts in there to hold them on. And it looks like they're pretty firm. So these things are super loud. Uh, I don't have a before because my other ones died, but here's what they sound like. This is in our garage. They're much louder than the old ones. All right, here's the uh, finished product all buttoned up. And then I'll show you over here. This is where I wired in. There's my inline fuse. And then ended up mounting the relay right here there was already a ground there going to something else so I just unscrewed that put the relay in there was able to put the wires uh, run them next to the radiator and in front of the uh, AC condenser so all right once again really happy with how it turned out so thanks a lot for watching we'll see you next time